So here I have some orchiata bark with a little bit of perlite and a touch of sphagnum moss in there. It's been, you know, I have it soaking in here for about 10-15 uh, minutes. And I'm gonna drain out the water and then I'm gonna plant. This is at the bottom of the bag, so there was like a lot of um, dust and dirt. That's why I'm washing it off. I mean, when you do plant the plant it and then you do water it, the dust is gonna come running, washing down the pot. But I just wanted to give it a good rinse before I start potting it up. So let me rinse it off now. So this is the orchiata bark. It's almost over. So that's why there's a lot of dust and dirt at the bottom of the pot. And that's why I had it washed off. So get a lot of the dirt out. I'm gonna start um, potting it up. So the f I have two new cups here. Now these plants are not that big. So I think I can get away with the smaller pot for now. And if I feel like it's, um, And I, I feel like if it's um, outgrowing a pot, I could always come back and um, put it in a bigger pot. I don't need to like uproot it. I just need to probably just take it. And um, now this one here, don't tell me you lost the label. Okay, it's right here. Cicadlia justadoviana, no variety. I don't know what this is any, um, just a, it's just justadoviana. So we'll see how it is once it blooms. And this is the oldest, this is the oldest growth. So I'm gonna put it flush against the back of the pot. I'm gonna put this right here. See, and that's the new growth. So even though this is the oldest part of the plant, I'm gonna put it in such a way so that this new growth has enough room. So I'll just go ahead and start filling it in. Now a wet sphagnum moss will, I mean, wet bark and these things will keep sticking to your hand. That's why sometimes I like to pot them when they're dry. But because this is the bottom of the bag and there is so much dust and that's why I just had to wash it before. And this is a Cattleya Delviana, so the Cattleyas like to dry out in between waterings. And that's why I'm putting it in an um, Orchiata Bark. I love Orchiata Bark. It, um, once the plant gets established in there, after a couple of waterings, these bark will last for a few number of years. Like, so I don't have to worry about potting it up every so often unless the plant outgrows the pot or unless I really have to. I can always up pot it to a bigger pot. So I don't need to worry about it right now. Now this plant has been soaking all day yesterday for about four or five hours at least i uh, think i put it in the afternoon and removed it um, in the evening like around six o'clock so it had been in water soaking up uh, i put a little bit of uh, cal mag in there so it's been soaking in there for a while so and this bark is wet so i'm just not gonna water it now i'm gonna 
leave it in there or I'm gonna put the label in here and because my hands are wet I cannot use a permanent marker it'll it won't write properly but I will come back later when everything is dry and write the time and not the time the date that I have parted it so that's the first one that's done and now the second one is this Catalia Daviana now this is the variety Aurea I, I've been wanting this Catalia Daviana it's kind of hard to get it um I've seen it on eBay, but sometimes they get ridiculously overpriced. So, and once I found it, Equigenera had it. I ordered some. Now the tricky part is this is the newest growth. So just they're gonna stay there. This might be a little bit too big of a pot, but I really do not want to keep repotting this. I want to get established in there. So the reason the plant is really mine, if it's over potted, it's just that it doesn't want to get wet. So it's up to you to make sure that when you water it, you don't water too much. Let the media dry. Because Catalias like to have a wet dry cycle. They like to be watered thoroughly and then they like to get their roots dry after that. So now my fingers crossed I do want this plant to do really well. So this is my fourth Daviana that I got. I did get a little seedling a few years ago and um, I didn't make it. So I got another one. See all these plants that you get to buy off of eBay are all like seedlings unless you pay like big bucks. Then you get a bigger plant and it's like more than $100. Like, and I don't know, it just feels like it's overpriced and I don't, I'm not willing to pay that much for a plant. And what if it doesn't make it? I mean, I mean, I have lost plants, so it's not like I'm saying that, oh, if I buy a plant, they all do good for me. No, they, I have lost a few plants, so, but I don't want to spend too much money and then lose a plant. That's more than... That's even sad then. And I think so. So the label goes in. Like that. And then I have to plant my Ancidium and my brush here. Now these plants, if they start wobbling around in here, I'll come back and stake it. But I'm not going to be moving it around. I'm going to put it in a place where it's not in direct light. Because till the plant gets a little established, I don't want it to be in full sun or direct light. I'll put it like in a shade area till it gets a little established. And if it's wobbling around a lot, I will stake it. But it looks like it's going to be okay as long as I don't keep moving it around. So that's the second one all done. Now let me get my brassia and my oncidium and let's plant that up. So you see this rod over here? I'm a little worried about that. So let me clear and clean that out. And this leaf fell down too, so it came off on its own. Yeah, this area is just mushy. So, good old hydrogen peroxide. 
and um, I should get a little container to spray it in so I don't splash it. <laughs> and let it sit I do want this So now it's been a while since I sprayed the hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to come and put some, this is cinnamon powder that I get from Costco. It's It was cheap at that time. I, I got it like a few years ago and this whole thing cost me only like $3 and change. So I'm going to put the cinnamon Not sure if you can see it. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so you just put a whole bunch of the cinnamon powder in there. And since it's not going to be going in the pot, this is going to stay outside, I can always come back. Like, I had another problem with another orchid that had the same bulb rotting like that. And I had cleaned it out, put cinnamon powder, and the whole bulb rot had stopped. And um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. See, this one right here, it had stopped rotting and now it's firm and then it put out another new growth and that one is putting out another new growth this is my Lysodomola red jewel I like Casti family so so that's how I was able to stop the bulb from rotting so I'm gonna do the same thing with this one put some more cinnamon I'm gonna come back tomorrow put some more cinnamon powder and uh, we'll go from there. So. so now since this one is a little dehydrated, I'm going to put a lot more sphagnum moss in this one. And of course, this is the oldest suitable, so that's going to go flush against the back of the pot. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is Fill some in the middle of the roots like that and come in and make like you, you do not want to wrap it like this no I, what I like to do is take some of this and make like a ball all around and this one is pure New, Ze New Zealand sphagnum moss from Tesco that's the one I seem to like, I like a lot. So just put it in here and push it in. It could use some more sphagnum moss. Or maybe not, maybe it could just fill the bark in at the top. The reason why I used a lot of sphagnum moss is because this plant was really dehydrated and sphagnum moss can hold a lot of water and give it, the root some moisture and hopefully 
prevent the plant from be getting dehydrated even more. So that's see I'm not happy with this because it feels like this is exposed. So I'm gonna take it out. Fill in some more. And go ahead and fill it in. That's it. That's a lot better. Sphagnumos, if it's like left exposed to air and light, um, will get green at the bar at the top. Where it's exposed to light, so if you could just top fill it with some bark, if you don't like the green stuff on the top, that's great. So now this is in. I already let me get the label. I already put the date in that I transplanted. Put the label with the name showing towards you. So it's easy when you look at the plant, the label shows. So that's. It's snug in there. This is the best way to see if your plant is snug. When you lift it up, it shouldn't fall out. And sphagnum moss is going to hold it in place. Let's hope this will survive. And it's got a spike over here. So I just gotta put a stake. And stake it in. So that's done. And now the last one is my brassia. So let me go get the media for that. I'll be back. So now onto my own brassia, the last one. So I have this pot that I got from um, Lowe's. Just gonna fill in the bottom with some peanuts and then put some of this on top so that the bark can um, this is this is wet sphagnum moss, the New Zealand New Zealand uh, sphagnum moss from Best Grow. So I have that, and I have different kinds of orchid, different sizes of orchid bark. And this is a smaller. I'm not sure the sizes. I think it's a small, medium, and this is charcoal, and this is perlite. So this is the plant, and this is bigger. So that's, and all the roots look nice and healthy. So that's why I took a bigger pot because brassias do get a little big and they can get uh, heavy and fill up the pot. Like for instance, let me show you, if I put this in here, see, it's already filling up the pot. So that's why I went for a bigger pot and it's got a lot of ventilation holes in it. I love this. I just got this uh, recent purchase from Lowe's. So I thought I would try this. I don't see any roots that needs to be cut. They all look nice and healthy. So just, just put the plant in the center of the pot. And here's the label. That's the brush here. 
just going to mix it all in. It's going to make the noise. I'm sorry about that. The sphagnum moss is slightly damp because wet sphagnum, not dry sphagnum moss is very hard and brittle and hard to work with. So all I have to do is just wrap it in here. So just make a noise. So move it to the wooden table. Now, because sometimes if it's dry, the media will drop in really easily. But because it's wet, the sphagnum moss is wet. And the orchiata bark, I had washed it because it's the bottom of the bag. And there was a lot of um, dust and gook in there. And I washed it all off and rinsed it up. And all I'm doing now is just dropping it. And making sure it is of course all the way to the bottom and that there's no air gaps. So you can see, you can see the, the media falling in. all this nice roots And because there's growth from both the sides, that's why I put the plant in the middle of the pot so that it will have room for it to grow in both directions instead of um, just putting it on the side because here's one new growth. It's right here, the new growth. And the other new growth is right here. So it's on both ends. So. Let's hope you do good. And I have to let the Quigenera know about the uh, Ancedium because they already asked me how are the plants doing and, I'm, and I said to them I cannot uh, tell you how the plants are because I didn't get the shipment. So they're like, oh sorry, it's an automated thing. So, so that's that. It's all done. So it's just a little repot. Now, this is clear part. So remember, all this we have algae growing in it. So I'm just going to put it. Oh, this may not be the right size black pot to put it in, but I, that's fine. It'll, So that's that one. So let me get the label. And this is the address uh, Equigenera if anybody's interested in buying the plant. And today, this is wet, so I don't think it's gonna, today is the 10th, July 10th. Oh, so yeah, it just, I did right properly so just put the label in with the name showing towards you so you know what it is what the plant is instead of having to um turn the pot around the label around to see what what the plant is so you can read the label so those are my four plants from equigenera 
I hope my Oncidium does well too, so. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this. Um, and um, so I can put up more videos if you like them. Let me know. Please leave a comment below to see if you like the plants. And thank you once again for watching. Bye.